Hello my friends, today let's look at all the end of dragons currencies and ways of farming. There is a lot to cover, so let's begin. Imperial favor and four different zone writs are the primary currencies of the expansion. They are necessary for the wide variety of items, skins, recipes, legendaries, event chests and other bits here and there. You get the favor either as an event reward or by consuming writs, which also comes as an event reward or for completing hearts and from other minor sources, which are not worth covering to be honest. I think the best way to farm them is the meta event train, running all four zones in a loop, because metas are nicely aligned. You can always check the event timer on the wiki for the current status and jump right in. Even failed Dragon's End one gives plenty from pre-events to be worth your time. The more events you take, the better. However, be aware that some side events have participation fade out when you slack too much. Many of the items you can buy with it are tradable. And since it's way easier to farm gold than farm favor, I would keep those currencies for things that are not. Some items are available for sale with favor as well as with the writs. Always pick the writs option because the conversion ratio is 1 to 5, while these prices are 1 to 10. Next on the list are Kanak coins. You can spend them at this vendor in the Club Kanak in the Arborstone. As you can see, he sells several backpack skins and also writs. It could be a reliable option, but you can buy only three once per day. Other than that, these coins don't have many uses. Well, there is the donation achievement for the band, but that's it. There are generally three ways how to farm them. The most reliable and also the fastest is the can access console. There are three types with respective rewards, basic, advanced and expert. You can repeat it how many times you want, but each use requires a battery charge. It's simple to understand, you have to repeat the color sequence. From my experience, choosing the advanced one is the most reliable middle ground between difficulty and reward. The second option are two club games. Just skip MOAs. It's not worth the effort. But participate in the collection when it's up. It's 100 coins in a short time. The event repeats roughly every 30 minutes. And finally, you can get some coins from all these Shrine Guardian chests across the End of Dragons, but not before you unlock the Commercial Hub Mastery, and the drop is not guaranteed. Now let's talk about Research Nodes. You can mostly see them used for the Jadebot related upgrades, crafting recipes and legendaries. Well, when I think about it, they are needed all over the expansion but fortunately you can get them quite easily. Buy this research kit at the Jade Workbench vendors and salvage crafted items. Fortunately now can also salvage in bulk like other salvage kits. Food or tonics are the obvious choices since they nicely stack and are reasonably cheap, but you can also salvage ascended weapons or armor for example. Green Profit Shard is an exclusive currency from the End of Dragon Strikes. You will get the reward for a successful mission. Failed one gives a small amount as well. And there is also a weekly bonus reward achievement you shouldn't miss. There is a weekly limit on how many shards you can obtain, so don't be surprised when they suddenly stop dropping. You will need quite a few to be able to afford all the strike vendor rewards. However, most of them can drop from strike or event chests. I would stockpile them for a while and then buy what's missing. 
Unusual coins can be exchanged at this vendor next to the Dago Ward Waypoint in the Saitung province for various new skins and recipes. One time deal. Then there is this Jade Harrier insignia where you can turn coins into a decent profit on the trading post. They can drop from any chest you encounter at the end of Dragon's expansion, but the drop is not guaranteed and chance is not the highest one to be honest. However, there are some exceptions. One of them, and my favorite, is the daily chest on the end of the Kaining City jumping puzzle. It's one of the most profitable parking spots out there right now. And the last on the list are Jade Slivers. The only place where you can use them is a dedicated vendor, like this one in the Arbor Store. As you can see, all he sells are just old expansion and living world currencies. However, the exchange ratio is quite silly and not worth it in my opinion. The only exception is Tyrion Defense Seal which you can otherwise get only from old Icebrood Saga strike missions. If you miss some or don't feel like playing the strikes, this is a reliable farming option for their rewards. So how to get them? Slot the Recycler Jade Sliver Sensory Array module into your Jade Bot. You can craft one or buy it on the trading post, your choice. Then wait until you drop some junk items. It will convert them into slivers once they enter your inventory. It won't accept every single junk item, so don't be surprised if it doesn't work. That's all I had for today, so if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.